So Vice recently released an article on true crime and gore YouTubers. And you're probably wondering, why are you covering this? Why are you covering a news article about true crime and gore YouTubers? Because there's some very interesting things in this article. And I'd just like to pull the whole fucking thing apart, to be honest. So we won't waste any time, we'll get straight into it. This article is named The Internet Communities that love watching people die. Now as you can already tell this is going to be some kind of edgy article that makes not necessarily me, it's not based on me obviously, they have no idea who I am, <laughs> but it is based on and starts off with Plague Moth. Now as I was saying before, this whole article is aimed at the whole community basically of gore and true crime youtubers and the problem with it is not to go too deep into it just yet but this particular article basically forms one big what shall we say it basically puts everybody in the community into a hole and basically says in the article in simple words all of these people basically love to watch gore they love to watch people die and that's not entirely the truth, really. Now, I'm not entirely sure exactly what kind of stuff Vice reports on a day-to-day -day basis. I'm pretty sure it's an American-based thing, and I've never really read an article from Vice before. So the way they go about this whole situation in this article uh, is either very edgy, um, very wrong, or they try to be serious but just come off as edgy angry teens who don't like what they've seen on the internet so bearing all that in mind about the fact that they tie everybody in the community into one tight ball of people who just love to watch other people die on the internet let's have a quick chat about what they say about plague moth now straight from the off you can see that they basically try to paint the whole community as a group of people who just try to create these shock videos, well not shock videos but explanations of shock videos and real life crime videos as trying to pass them off like they are horror movies. Now first of all I'm pretty sure that's not entirely true. Most of the content creators who do create stuff like this to do with gore, to do with abuse, uh, to do with violence, to do with murder, all that kind of stuff. I'm pretty sure that most of the community treat this with absolute, what's the word, they tend to treat it with care, if you know what I mean. In no way, shape or form do we try to pass these things off like the horror movies these are all real world events that people go through you know war crime violence uh anything horrible really and they basically go on to say that a lot of this content that we find is basically from senior alleyways again that's not true at all from what this thing says and it's an article that's probably got a lot of views a lot of this content can be found on the surface web you know, the community doesn't tend to go to the deep web or the dark web, the spooky dark web, and find things on there that nobody else will ever see. Because all of this stuff, the violence, the gore, whatever we describe, is all on the clear web. Now, they're right about one thing on this, and that's that we are guides. It says he and other, others like him act as guides. And... Again, while Vice don't necessarily mean me or any other smaller YouTuber, um, they've probably seen people like, like Plague Moth, like Disturban, I think he's mentioned. Um, also, Tuv, he creates some great content. They say that it's basically a guide for those who are too squeamish to actually watch the video. Again, you'd be absolutely right. However, most of us, we don't just, you know, watch the video, 
describe the video and that's it <laughs> sorry it's not my mic there we basically give a background to these stories as well so while we're talking about you know somebody being beheaded or i don't know somebody being flayed or something like that we also give a bit of a background story on each of these particular subjects in which instead of just getting horrific i think they describe it as wanting to scare the shit out of you that is the complete opposite a lot of people who do this kind of content especially myself want to educate people about this content so as well as describing just a horrific video that yes may scare the shit out of someone we also make it some kind of a lesson in which we describe a story behind it that actually happened and going back to bundling all of these youtubers into one bundle of people they basically which i find incredibly disrespectful they basically say that the productions lack the sheen of a netflix production of chart ranking true crime prod podcast and often borrow aesthetics from horror movies and heavy metal which again is completely untrue and i can't name a single person in this community that uses aesthetics from horror movies or borrows aesthetics from horror movies and heavy metal and i mean sure moth has a heavy metal intro but so fucking what and from then on the article basically just goes on to say things about live leak and documenting reality uh different subreddits and stuff like that but basically strays away from the true crime and go youtuber scene and basically starts whining about subreddits like uh gory accidents and crazy videos and nsfl and all that shite but we all know that reddit is a bit of a cesspool anyway so we really won't go into anything about that but the reality is that this kind of content it's been going on for a long time and i hate to say it but about seven years ago you had takedown man now his youtube channel's dead because he basically spread lies everywhere about this kind of content some of it was true some of it wasn't now the only reason that this article now exists is because we have more people covering it as well as obviously moth with his uh, I think he's got like 350,000 subscribers or something now and this is the only reason that they're talking about it but they've completely got the wrong end of the stick right from the off with that title you know internet communities that love watching people die it's simply not true and again this whole article could just be a satire article it could all just be bollocks and I am really hoping that that's the case because if not the article is incredibly inaccurate that it's laughable but that's all I've really got to say about Vice's article on true crime and go youtubers thanks for watching guys stay safe and I'll see you in the next video <laughs>